This is ComWise. The video diaries of two BU freshmen in the College of Communication. We have our own cameras and we're taking them with us everywhere. So get ready to follow me. And me. As, as we, we bring, bring you into, into our, our very, very own Com Life. Life. Papers not due till next week, so clearly she's not studying. What? I said our comp paper's not due till next week now, so clearly you're not studying. I'm trying to figure out my classes. Oh, but look, what is that under the cell phone? It's the comp textbook. Com textbook. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. <laughs> Right now, where are we? I don't even we're in the know. cinema room in Warren Towers. Okay. And um, I just gave blood. Right, let's see, where is it? I don't believe you. Oh, look. Oh, sorry. Is yeah. That, is that you for right now? Yeah. Perfect. Let me see the arm. Oh, yeah. Second person to tell me my veins are good. What is it? My veins are really good. Wait, do either of you listen to Dave Matthews? Yeah. Gray Street. So you definitely are absolutely 100% set on film. Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, hold on. Wait, I have a copy. I'm so cheesy. I have a copy of my documentary. I don't know if you can see because of the... My old laptop printed like laser prints on the discs. So that's, that's my documentary. So it's called No Hope? It's called No Hope. It's about life without parole for juveniles. Um, so that was... Yeah, that was kind of like my first um, experience doing any like huge project like that. And it was m during my senior year of high school. Um, so that, yeah, that kind of, I guess, solidified my decision of wanting to do documentaries. In Connecticut, there are over 600 youth offenders serving their sentence in an adult correction facility for crimes they committed when they were under the age of 18. 14 of these youth offenders are serving a life sentence without the possibility of parole. So you're showing the film in your documentary. You're showing your documentary in your... Yeah, in the documentary, documentary film class film the class. day after Thanksgiving. No, the day we get back from Thanksgiving break, yeah. So let you know how that goes. I figured with PR you can do a lot of stuff and then also like you can kind of work in an industry that you have interest in. So like I really like sports. So I could work in the sports industry without having to be like an athlete or like a coach or something. And like I think it's kind of I was looking at it as like what am I good at and I am a good talker. <laughs> um, I like would like to think I'm a semi good writer. Um, I mean I like to write when it's more creative writing than like writing an essay. Um, so I think I kind of went for more like what I like to do and it kind of led me to communications and like PR specifically and um, I don't think I'm creative enough to be in advertising so it's kind of like a step down. Part of the job of an IR person is not only to try to manage expectations but to try to reduce risk. <laughs> Right? Because what happens if a huge shareholder chooses to sell their 3 million shares in our company and now other people see that 3 million shares are being sold and they too start to sell and we become vulnerable as the, uh, as the market seems to react to this one 
big decisions. It was it was interesting. I think um, it's it's good to have knowledge of the corporate field, even if you would rather go into another area of PR. It's always important to have that, and it can always be a good backup. So I think it'll be an interesting class when I take it in a couple of years. So right now you're still not sure if you want to do corporate or like nonprofit. I mean, I don't really know what nonprofit like entails. Like, I don't know. I think I want to maybe do more agency stuff, but I don't know if that is corporate. I don't really know. That's what I'm learning. That's um, I've been talking to Allie about that kind of stuff and um, trying to figure out like what form of PR I guess I want to do. forward to that is there anything you're expecting to um, see or like yeah I think this will actually I mean I'm glad I get to show you guys what a film production class looks like but I'm also excited because I honestly don't know um, in case you guys don't know you don't really get to take film classes or any class that pertain directly to your major until you're a junior so I'm excited to see what I'll actually be doing at some point except I might be studying abroad junior year so I wouldn't get to do that but anyway um, so I don't know if they're going to like make movies or what we're going to be doing, but it's film production too, so hopefully they're doing something cool, and I'm excited. Um, so thanks for reminding me, because <laughs> I forgot about that.